Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's bi-weekly contest, minimum penalty for a shop. This is slightly easier problem than usual medium level problem. So uh, it will be quick. So let's start. The problem states that you are given a customer visit log, which are zero indexed and the log will contain only two characters Y or N. Y denotes that on the ith hour there is a customer and denotes that on the ith hour there are no customers. That's it. Now you are given this for every hour like from 0 to n minus 1 and you can close the shop at j. Let's say you close the shop at j. Now if you close the shop at j every time or every hour after j in which a customer arrives and your shop is closed you will be incurred a penalty of 1. Similarly, uh, let's say you close the shop at J. So before J, your shop is open, right? So for all those hours, if there are any hours among those J hours in which there are no customers, but your shop was open, right? So then also you will incur a penalty of 1. So you need to close the shop at an optimal time such that your penalty is minimum possible. Okay, so that's the problem. For example, if this is the uh, log, uh, y denotes that on the 0th hour there is a customer, on yth hour there is a customer, on, sec uh, on second hour there is no customer, on third hour there is no customer, right? So, you like as per their calculation, they are saying, or let's say if you close the shop at 0th hour, you close the shop at this particular point. So, these two plays, like this y and y, means that a customer arrives at 0th hour and 1 hour but your shop was closed right you already closed the shop so you will incur a penalty for this you will incur one penalty for this and similarly you will incur one penalty for this so you will incur total three penalty if you close the shop at 0th hour similarly you can find out what is the penalty you will incur if you close the shop at ith hour and finally you can see at uh, second hour you are incurring minimum penalty and that's your answer okay so that's the problem. Hope the, pro hope the problem statement is clear. Now let's look at the solution. So as discussed, you can actually try to find out the penalty at every given hour i. And how to find the penalty? Like let's say you uh, are finding the penalty at ith hour, which means that you close the shop at ith hour, right? You close the this is i, and you close the shop at this ith hour. So you can what you can do for everything before i. Everything before i, your shop was open before i, right? So for everything before i, where there is an n, you will just add 1 to your penalty, right? And after i or at, at i, if there is any y, then you will increment your penalty because after i, your shop is closed, right? So if your shop is closed and there is a customer, that is, if it is y, you will incur one penalty. So the thing is simple. After i, everything which is equals to y will be added right everything which is which is equals to y before i everything which is equals to n is added right now you can do this for every hour i and just find out the minimum one that is okay but to do this for every i you have to iterate over everything right and if you do it uh, navely you will require order n square time because there are n hours and for each hour you will be iterating over the entire string right and the num like the value of n is into the power 5 so this will not pass but if you look at it you only need to find out number of y after a index i right you, you need to find out how many characters which is equals to y after index i right this you can simply find out using a suffix sum right uh, and similarly you have to find out how many uh, indexes are there which are equals to n this also you can find out using prefix sum right so the first part, uh, like you can do a prefix, you can calculate two things. First, the prefix sum, prefix sum where ith index will denote how many of the indexes are equals to n, right? That is the ith, uh, ith value, right? So, for example, uh, the prefix sum of this particular string would be 0, 0, 1, 1. Why 1? Because, like, in this part, there is one string which is uh, one character which is equals to n. Similarly, in this part, there is one character which is equals to n. 
and in this part there is no character which is equal to n right so hope this makes sense now similarly you can find out a suffix sum where ith value will denote how many of them are equals to y right so for example in this particular case uh, this would be 1 1 2 2 right y 2 because in this particular string there are two y's and similarly in this particular string there is only one y right so now once we have find out this the prefix sum and suffix sum uh, let's say this let's denote by p and this denote this by s so at any given ith hour your value would be p of i minus 1 right plus s of i right this would be your penalty now you can just uh, uh, find this penalty in order one time for each index you can calculate this entire prefix sum in order n you can calculate this entire suffix sum in order n right uh, and finally you can iterate over all the indexes once again just find out the penalty for each of the index and take the minimum one okay so that's the solution uh, i am not providing the pseudo code or code for this intentionally because i assume that uh, you can code it yourself because there are two simple things finding the prefix sum which i already show uh, like what exactly it will look like and find the suffix sum prefix sum you can find out just by prefix of i should be uh, prefix of i minus 1 plus something right and this something will you know, will based on whether the well character is n or not similarly suffix of i would be suffix of i plus 1 right plus something and this something is again based on uh, whether the character is y or not right so once you find prefix suffix sum you can just uh, find out the penalty at each index and now you are not requiring order n square time to calculate each index uh, to calculate the penalty at each index you only require order n time and uh, after you find the penalty at each index you can simply return the one with have the minimum penalty okay so hope the solution makes sense if you have any doubts in this particular problem please post them in the comment section below i would be happy to answer if you like the video give it thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also do check out the solution for the fourth problem it was pretty interesting uh, this time so i would encourage you to check it out okay thank you